because it's too important to Davening in all of LA and all of all of uh, in all of California. Probably there's no minion like this, and especially for Hashanah uh, Rabbah. And the main message of Hashanah Rabbah is that Hashem looks down at His entire people. So there's people, unfortunately, Jews who have, who have uh, through no fault of their own, become distant from the Jewish people after all these years, through the fault of their families and relatives and rabbis, so-called. And the main message of Hoshana Rabba is that the Jewish people is one. There's no yeshiva here and no community here, and this young Israel or that synagogue or that Hasidic group. It's all one. We're all one people. Anybody who keeps Torah and mitzvahs should be one nation under God. What about those who don't observe the they Torah They should be invited and we should go out and greet them and try and bring them into the fold. But we have to present a one nationhood to the rest of the Jewish people to gather them in. We have to do a better job of, of, of setting an example of what Judaism is, what Torah really truly is. And then they'll be able to come back. What, what about those who think that the reform standard is all they need to ascribe to, and you're asking too much of them. Well, do, do, you, do you see yourselves as one with them? No. I mean, the people in their synagogues, in their com communities and congregations, I feel for them. I, they're Tinnik Shanish, but they don't know any better. Their leaders, I have no affinity for, because they know a little better, and they know they're re leading their, their, their congregants down a primrose path to no, no, no Judaism at all, intermarriage, assimilation, false uh, divorces, false conversions, false everything, and they're destroying their Judaism and their Jewishness, uh, and they've been doing it for many generations now, unfortunately. We're trying to make one nation the Jewish people. There's not Chutz Lord's Jews and Eretz Yisrael Jews, there are just Jews, and we're all part of the Am Hashem, right? We're Am Yisrael, the people of Hashem, and therefore that's what we have to spread the message about. And we have to go back to Eretz Yisrael, but we have to gather our forces and our strength here to make ourselves into a one nationhood, where everybody, they keep their individual minhagim, their customs, their Hasidic or yeshivish or whatever. No one's taking that away from them. But just to look at them, that their Klai Yisrael and they're the main part of Klai Yisrael, everybody else is outside, even other religious Jews, that's got to stop. That attitude has to stop. After all these years, we are one nation, and we have to think nationally. And it's too bad, but we have to start it's too bad they don't know this, but they start, the way to get to this one nationhood is to learn the form of Rabbi Kahana and his son Benjamin, Rabbi Meir Kahana and Benjamin Kahana, because there he concentrates on what makes us a national nation, a, a one nation when we have a land and we have a people, we have a government and we have an army and we have a court system and we have agriculture and what it's supposed to be. These are not just individual religious mitzvahs. These are the collective mitzvahs that we all have to t make sure are implemented and fulfilled from the from the Torah. And that's what Hashem is looking for. And of course, we have to be able to 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 convince the majority of the people living in Israel that this is the way to go. This is the answer to our troubles with the Arabs and the terrorism and the, the, all the other financial difficulties. We have to do what the Torah wants and shed some light on on Eretz Yisrael and on the rest of the Jewish people, then the Jewish people can come back to Eretz Yisrael because they'll see that there's really a Jewish state, really, a, truly a Torah Jewish state. That's our goal and that's the message of Hoshana Rav. Isn't the Jewish state broader than just the boundaries of Israel? What does that mean? Are the Jewish nation? Yeah, but we're supposed to be in Eretz Yisrael. So we're supposed to all be there doing the mitzvahs of the Torah together, uh, surrounded by Hashem. And that's uh, surrounding Hashem and Hashem uh, leading us. And until we get to that point, we're just scattered kehilos congregations spread out all over the world. We have no political, uh, which is Torah politics, not po political political, just Torah. Uh, we don't have a message. We don't have our, our, our we don't have our strength. We don't have our light. We don't have ability to show the world by example and the rest of the Jewish people that are far away, by example, what God meant when he created the mankind and what he meant when he gave us the Torah. 
and how it's supposed to come out and how it's come, supposed to come to fruition. We can't show that from here. We can try to gather forces here to go there, but we have to show that this is what Hashem chose for us. That's why He took us out of Egypt, and He brought us to Har Sinai, and He brought us into Egypt, uh, He brought us into Canaan, into Eretz Yisrael, because that's where we're supposed to keep the Torah. And when we keep the Torah, all of us, together, it's a very high, high thing. And it, it, it does great things for the world, and it great, does, does good things in wiping out evil from the world.